Hi, Gemini. This is your general reading for April, Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, in general, we've got to be thinking about our purpose, like on all levels, through all of our chakras. <laughs> it's saying possessing determination and dedication to co consistently and consciously demonstrate love. So putting love into all of your situations, which is fucking amazing, because guess what your crystal of the month is? I know I usually wait till the end of the video, but it's no coincidence that it's love. It's love related, right? It's rose quartz. This is like the universal love stone. This one in particular is super cute because rose quartz is usually kind of like a lighter color, but I got some bomb ass rose quartz from South Dakota that is like a darker pink. It maybe doesn't look that way because of the lights, but if I bring it closer, maybe you can see. Isn't it cute? It's like a deeper pink. Anyway, so what does that do? Um, helps with forgiveness. Trust. It's an antidepressant. Increases gentleness, um, tenderness. It makes you a little bit more spiritual. It's unconditional love for you. It's unconditional love for others. It brings about peace. It helps to attract love, to attract a soulmate. It harmonizes love that you already have, like whether that's for family or friends or whatever. It um, gets rid of chaotic situations. It treats infertility. <laughs> it does a shit ton of stuff. If you want to know more about it, you can find it at my website and read. Okay. So anyway, um, what I wanted to talk about next actually is your money and career part of your life in April. What's up with that? Okay. New opportunities are coming in. So in regards to moving, this is a very auspicious time for you to move. If you were going to move homes, buy a home, take a new job, anything like that. Now, as I say this for April in general, I would say with the caveat of preferably after April 15th, just because we have a Mercury retrograde that kind of counteracts this energy up until then. However, the end of April, very, very good time to take a new job, to move, things like that, okay? Now, the other energy is like, you're in this process of healing, hence the rose quartz that's going to help you, right? And um, so it's like, as you're getting rid of all of this bullshit from the past, which a Mercury retrograde helps us do, you're walking into this new energy where, like, blessings are coming for you, especially in the financial sector or in regards to your stability, your home, your workplace, that kind of a thing. So in regards to your love life, what's up in general, and they're saying, you know what, sometimes your life, love life just doesn't seem fair, right? Like, you didn't do anything wrong, maybe you were treated unfairly, you're hurt, somebody might have cheated or um, disappointed you, and so, you know, it feels kind of hopeless. Now, this is a general reading, so it couldn't obviously be for everybody, but this is important for somebody in specific that's a Gemini to hear. So they're saying, you know what, all of that bullshit, like, it doesn't go away overnight. It doesn't magically get better overnight, but you are healing. And the thing is, is that there are people and resources that can help you to heal faster, but you might not be seeing them. You might be in this energy of, like, wallowing, right? Like, these two people, they're suffering. It's snowing. They're barefoot. One of them's crippled. They're hungry. And they're right outside a church that has warmth, <laughs> that has shoes. It has, like, a homeless, like, soup kitchen. Like, it has all of these things inside there. Other people to love and support them, even though, like, not every church is that way. Let's be real. They should be right? But it isn't. But anyway, the premise of this card is like there are people or resources around you to help you to heal, to feel better, but you might not be taking advantage of it per choice, right? Like it's your decision that like, oh, I'm just going to wallow in this heartbreak. So is that a good idea? They're like, obviously not. <laughs> but that might be a part of the reason why spirit is giving you all these financial blessings, right? Or these work blessings or these home blessings, because it's a good distraction for you. And it's a good reminder that, you know what, I am okay. Like, my love life is not the only aspect of my life. There are other things going on in my life, and these other things are really great. So, hey, uh, in regards to other people, whether this be, you know, that ex, whether it's a sibling, whether it's your friends, whether it's colleagues, coworkers, stuff like that, how are other people's energies affecting you this month? And they're like, 
to be honest, for some of you, um, there are a lot of people that you just need to completely cut ties with. They're like, you're going to find that you're much happier. It seems unlucky to have to like get rid of people from your life, but these people are creating a lot of blockages and not allowing you like a good flow. So you can love people very deeply, but then also not have them in your life anymore. Like if every time, for example, let's say you have a sibling who is very, very negative. Okay, and every interaction that you have with them, like they criticize you and they make you feel bad about yourself, you can continue to love them, but just don't talk to them as often. Because if every single time you're having an interaction, it makes you feel like shit, then that can't be something you do every single day, right? Because it eats at you, it chips away at your self-esteem. And so, you know, this is this is a month in April of like really assessing like every time that I interact with this person, with this person, with this person, do I feel built up or do I feel torn down and you know kind of taking stock of that and then deciding who you want to be around a little bit more who is it you actually want to communicate with for a long time or for a short amount of time or not at all so they're saying like because some of these people they're ruining your confidence and that's not good your emotional self what's going on and they're saying um you're kind of in that energy of life's not fair however by communicating with other people by the people who build you up, who make you feel good about yourself, those resources I mentioned, that's going to be a very, very good thing for you. It's going to bring you a lot of luck because when you're in this energy of like hopelessness and, you know, whatever, and life's not fair and I don't feel good and I'm not happy and you're putting up all of these blocks for spirit to bring you the things that you that you want. However, you're going to turn your fate around. You're going to turn your luck around by having communication with people who build you up or who are motivational. And even if you don't have any of those kind of people in your life, you know, listening to YouTube videos like motivational speakers, TED Talks, um, Tony Robbins, Mel Robbins, or, um, you know, those kind of people is a good thing. So they're saying this will bring you happiness in a time that feels a little bit downtrodden. You're going to turn that luck around. So that's all for you in April, and I'll see you in May. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!